good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for dressing up. Great. You well, I tell you what, um, I have not seen you in 30 years. Yeah, it, it's 1990, shoot, something. 1994, something yeah, like that. The mids, something like, yeah, yeah. The mids. So, so I don't know if this is a put on. Um, they told me you have a show in Midtown Manhattan. <laughs> and I'm thinking it's going to be a black box theater. Improv, get a suggestion from right. the audience. We're going to do some makes it up as we go along, Zs. Sure. Some off the cuffy mad libs. Mm -hmm. Freeze. Freeze, yeah, yes. Exactly. Lacrosse. Yep. Um, so what's going on? Uh, there's been a terrible mistake. There's Thank been a you. terrible mistake, I and I so. am the host of The Late Show on CBS now. <laughs> and here's the thing. Here's the thing. I've thanked a lot of people for my career, but I have to thank you, and I just want to let the audience out there know, you'll know that this is true when I tell you, if you remember the story. Well, you know, this I is won't. an absolute true story I'm about to tell you. I am at this desk because of an evening I spent with you in the mid-90s, I was uh, super unemployed. My wife was unemployed, and we had a new baby, and that's a great feeling. It's real good. It's yeah, real good. I'll it's, stay with know, the baby. You go get yeah. the unemployment check. It's, and... it's, it's caveman-like. It is. Yeah. And I was in Chicago still trying to just keep, you know, keep the chops going, sure. so I would do an improv set whenever I could, and some folks called me, maybe you one of them said, hey, we're going to do a set of Shubas way on Addison, way west? Yeah. I forgot what street it was yeah. on. I believe way you're right. Way west. They, they won't know. So they yes. won't know. Anyway, check it out. It's still there. And so we did a set in the back of the bar, as you do. Yep. And you're like, hey, can I get a, a ride home? So you get my, like, late model Honda Accord, and I drive you home. Still has it. We're driving into the, I wish, driving into the alleyway behind your apartment. You said, oh, hey, man, um, Robert Smigel's looking for you. And Smigel had been Conan's executive producer, and, of course, he's a Triumph the Insult comic dog. And I go, what, what do you mean Smigel's looking for me? And he goes, oh, uh, uh, he's doing a show with Dana Carvey. He's looking for you. And I said, how, how, why does someone have to look for me? I'm not hiding. <laughs> and so I called my, my then agent at the time and said, are they looking for me? <laughs> and I got the job because I asked. And because I got that job, I'm sitting here telling you this story. So thank you, Dave Keckner. <laughs> True story. True story. What can I do? What can I, what can I give you? I'll tell you. I'll tell you what you can give me. Yep. Uh, so you've been working the whole time. <laughs> uh, for the most part, for the most, there were a couple of lulls there. A couple of lulls I, I there. I saw you in Bewitched. Oh, really? When is that coming out? <laughs> that was your. Now, so the last thing I saw you in was those FedEx commercials with Steve Carell. I didn't do those. <laughs> That's not me. That's okay. Steve Carell. What happened to Carell? Carell, no one knows. Yeah, he, he was yeah. so talented. He was so good. He was so good. I heard he got an office job. Thank you. What? Yes. You wow. know what? Yes. That's corn pone. That's what I do. Because you're yes. from corn country. I'm you're corn from country. the Midwest. But I want a little. What you want to yeah, say something? I want to address. I don't want to get in your way. Well, no. Obviously, we're here for this your This is stories. your little thing. Is this like a tryout? Yeah. This is. This, none of this is being broadcast right now. Hey, I'm with you. Is this like for your brothers? Is it a family thing? I'm related to everyone in this audience right now. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, I know you have a big family. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, yeah I'm from six. What do you mean? Oh, from? 11. Not in a competition. Not a competition. You no. Know, <laughs> it's not because I won. You did. I did, yeah. So, tonight. My was... mom won. Yes. Yeah. Because of all of them. Because she got me at the end. Did she? You're the last? I'm the baby. Where do you fall in the six? I'm third of six. Third of six. Yeah. Troubled. Yeah, it's true. Troubled middle child. Just look at that thing. Wow. <laughs> holy, holy cow. Yeah, you get it. Wow. That is Missouri farm boy. Oh. What? <laughs> what is that? That's, oh, that's your wife. Wife and kids. OK. I, hold Why is the wife in the heart and the kids are just around it? I, I don't love them as much. Okay. You know what? Right. They have to try. Prove to me that you will change my diapers. <laughs> when they, the time comes? Then you get in the heart. Um, you, we're just going to keep shaking hands. So. I keep thinking you're about so, to end the interview with me. Anyway, Steve-O, it's been absolutely great. All right. Hey, 
this is this is a real deal show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We do one every night. We do one every night. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, it's on. You know the CBS? Do you ever see that uh, that Big Bang Theory? I was on CBS for two years. Really? And then they canceled it. Listen. Okay. Ah. Uh, mm-hmm. That's fine. Uh, I'll always get work. Where were we? Let's get back to we it. We were in Missouri. You we grew were. up in Missouri. I grew a up town called what? Tipton. Tipton. How big are we talking here? Well, here's the thing. So when I was a young man, it went from 1,999 people. And then the 1980 census, apparently five people stayed and went up to 2004. And then for the 2000 census, it jumped to 3,500. And I said to what? my dad, I says, I says, Dad, Tipton nearly doubled. What happened? He said, well, Dave, they moved the city limits to include the prison. <laughs> so... <laughs> So, the story... So the story has a happy ending. Well, uh, apparently it probably has a lot of happy endings. Uh, hey, hey, corn pone. Um, one could argue that half the town is locked up. To quote a great man, may I stroke your beard? <laughs> yes. The Symphony of Chaos tour is at the Gotham Comedy Club this weekend. The man is David Kettner. We'll be right back with the performance by Interpol.